I'm going to draw a picture based on this photograph using chalk and eraser. I cut my eraser in half because I'd lost its uh, sharp edges, so I want to have some sharp edges so I could maybe get some details. I like to start off breaking the school chalk in half so then I can use um, the side of the chalk, but it's not quite so long. So the first thing I want to do is look at the big shapes in here just so I don't feel overwhelmed with my drawing. Um, this is a very long photograph, but I'm not going to worry about that so much. My paper is pretty long as well. Just might cut off the edges here. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the big, big shapes. I've got kind of like a half an oval here, and I can see this is a maybe a triangle, and this is kind of a square, and then I've got a blob here, and this is kind of like a square. So to show you what I mean, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to start off drawing really lightly. So I'll just start off, I'm looking at how far from the edge this shell is. So it's somewhere like here maybe. Sometimes I have trouble remembering to draw lightly. So I'm going to just kind of put this big sh shape in here and get kind of like a square shape here. The head's kind of here somewhere, like this. Um, I can keep correcting it as I go if I want. I can put like, actually this kind of comes across all the way like this. And then this is, like I was saying, this is kind of a triangle. Coming like that. So even though these shapes aren't super accurate, it doesn't matter. It's just something to start from. It's kind of like my foundation. So this is a good place to start, I think. So this is really important to start off getting your proportions of the shapes in your picture. I'm seeing a lot of white in here. I've got black paper, so I need to get rid of this black from my background. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to use the side of the chalk to put down some light tone. One of the fun things about chalk is you can put this tone down really quickly. You don't have to labor over it. Look at how fast I can do this. And the more I look at the photo, the more I get acquainted with it, and the more accurately I can draw it. So I keep looking back at the photo over and over again. Okay, now I'm gonna squint my eyes. Squinting my eyes because I wanna see just the big shapes in here, not the details. So if I squint my eyes, the, the brightest, whitest part is the head. So I need to go in and put, make this square white. And I'm looking at the skin of this um, diamondback terrapin. And it's black dots on a whitish skin. Even the body should be, could start off white, light. And I don't mind if I lose my blacks because I'm gonna bring the blacks back with my eraser. I'm gonna go ahead and lighten up the shell, even though a lot of it's dark in the photograph. So now I kind of have lost my guidelines, but I can still kind of see them. I'm gonna make sure I get the tone all the way to the edge of the paper. And this is really quite light, so I want to make sure this is pretty light down here. Just doing really crude drawing. I'm not doing details. This is really white here. Super white. And I'm pressing harder with my chalk. I've already used up a lot of my chalk, so don't be afraid to get a fresh piece of chalk when you need it. 
Makoichak is cheap. Not, not talk is cheap, chalk is cheap. Right, so that's where I'm at now. Seeing darks on the foot. If I pr don't press hard enough, I kind of just smudge it around. If I want dark, dark lines, I need to press harder. The dots are going to be difficult. How am I going to do all those dots? Jeez. I'm going to come back and do the edge of the shell. This. And if I make a mistake, I just go in and smudge it or erase it. The most important part is getting those proportions at the beginning. foundation for the whole rest of our drawing. If the proportions are off, our drawing will be off. Got some eraser on here and some chalk, extra chalk. I'm just gonna bang it off onto the floor. I'm not gonna blow it. So that's where I'm at now. Let's see where the drawing goes next. Before I do time lapse of this, I wanted to mention it's super important to back up away from your picture, like I just said, and see what you've got. So it wasn't until I stood up and looked at my picture that I realized the distance. The distance from the bottom to the shell of the shell to the bottom of the paper is a little too big. So I need to correct this and make the turtle come down a little bit lower. If I hadn't gotten up, looked at the picture from a distance, I wouldn't have noticed that. I just wanted to pause the time lapse for a 
couple minutes and just mention that even though I've been drawing a lot of things from observation lately, I'm still finding it challenging and I'm still finding it fun also. So I'm finding it's not straightforward using the chalk and the eraser, but the fact that I'm struggling with it, I'm creating something new that I haven't really made before. Um, the other thing I noticed is I've already used up a lot of my chalk and my eraser got dull in that amount of time. So at this point, I need to think about getting some fresh chalk and cutting the edges of my eraser so that they are nice and crisp so I can get um, the thin lines again. Like I actually have two erasers here, so I could, like I could maybe go in and put this, if I have a sharp edge, I can go ahead and put a thin line here on this shell. If I didn't have a, a crisp edge, I couldn't make the line nearly as thin. Same with here. You can start to put in some details like I did here, but the most important thing are the big shapes still. The details, try to leave them kind of almost near the end of your process for the most part and spend a lot of time, most of the time, looking at the proportions. How big is the head to the rest of the body? How big is the foot to the body? Like this, I, I noticed as I was going that this foot was actually too small, so I, I made it bigger. With chalk, you have the ability to do that. You can keep changing it and tweaking it. Um, like I'm, I'm just seeing things I want to change right now, because I can. If I, I just did something, if you want to make something look like it's in the background, blur it out. That's an easy way to make something look like it's sitting behind. So I just wanted to mention that stuff, a few things, before I went back to doing some uh, more time lapse. Hope you're having fun with this. Um, I know I am, even though it's not, a, it's not a straightforward technique. I'm having a lot of fun with it. This is too thin here, so I could go in and make this look thicker. Maybe put a little tiny line there, which I could get rid of later if I wanted to. Yes, yeah, so this is, this should be thicker. So this whole thing needs to come out more like this. But if I don't pause, and actually sometimes I need to physically step back from my picture, if I don't do that, I might not notice it. I'm always knocking my chalk onto the floor. I'm not blowing it. Just pour it onto the floor so it doesn't get in the air. All right. I can keep working this. Got a nice variety of textures going. Looks like my proportions are pretty good. So I don't know, maybe the next step will be trying to add some of the details. It's going to be tough to get all these little spots with an eraser. Uh, that's going to be challenging. I'll see how that goes. I just thought I'd point out here, so it's very difficult to do small details with the eraser at a certain point. So what I'm going to do here is I've made my nostrils and my mouth, and my, my mouth's actually in the wrong spot. But now I'm going to refine, actually my chalk has lost its edge, so I'm going to break it. I'm going to refine these edges by taking away some of the dark to make it smaller. So the nostrils are way too big. Go in like this and take away some of the nostrils. And my mouth was too high, so I can go back and draw over the part that was too high. So I'm making corrections. 
still finding this difficult. This this thing is this creature is very detailed and but I have a feeling I'm gonna like the final product even though I'm finding it I don't have as much control as I would like to have.
I'm noticing that there is some stuff that is quite off. That's stuff that's quite different from my photograph, but I'm okay with that. <clears throat> like this, this foot is not nearly big enough. Um, this angle is kind of wrong, basically. I think part of it's that I have it over here instead of up in front of me, but I'm just gonna see what I can do to make this look finished. What um, final things can I do? I think I do wanna make this foot bigger over here and maybe change this angle, maybe make this angle go a little more like this over here. But other than that, I think it might be almost done.